Bates men's rowing had an outstanding season, and the rowing world took notice. In June, the team earned its first ever invitation to the IRA National Championship Regatta as the only Division III college competing. Bates took on the likes of Harvard, Yale, Cornell, Cal, Syracuse, and more. We made it, you know, it's, it's cool to see that we've actually made it to, to the D1 stage and see these really big guys that have been recruited from God knows where. It's a crazy thing, like I, I shook a guy's hand, I swear to God it was like the size of my head. Go Bates! After the Bobcats sized up the competition, it was time to race. In foggy conditions on New Jersey's Mercer Lake, Bates held its own against the giants of the sport. The second varsity eight outraced St. Joseph's University and even Stanford to take fourth place out of six crews in their heat. Stanford was kind of our goal going into it. Uh, we didn't really know where they were going to be, but we knew we were going to be close to them. And um, the fog really just allowed us to focus in. And once we got to the last 500 and saw ourselves above them, it was an amazing experience, and we knew that we were going to do some cool things here. After each Bates boat raced twice on Friday to begin the regatta, the Bobcat crews raced once on Saturday. The first varsity eight outpaced UC San Diego, and the second varsity eight qualified for the third level final by speeding past Florida Tech and St. Joseph's once again. In the first couple of days, just in practice, we had to get used to um, seeing these these crews that we had only really known from uh, <laughs> rowing magazine. So um, I think it was good to get that out of our system and then just realize that there are you know, just other athletes that we're competing against. The rest of the regatta, well, it did not go exactly as planned. The Bobcats races on Sunday were canceled due to poor water conditions. But Bates and the other schools made the most of a tough situation. When they called us down that we couldn't race, uh, you know, crews started just going anyway, and they were like, hey, let's line up and race anyway back to the dock. And uh, it was a really special moment for sure that we all got to share together. And so the greatest year in Bates rowing history comes to a close. I'm very happy for them. I'm happy with the seniors. Um, proud of those guys for bringing the character and the class and, and uh, the work ethic that they did. And, uh, you know, the seniors can graduate knowing that they're leaving this place better than how they found it. Nine men's rowers from the class of 2018 move on to life after Bates. And none of them will ever forget their teammates who helped make qualifying for IRAs at long last a reality. I've learned a lot from them in many different ways. Uh, and I hope that I've taught some of them something too. Um, but yeah, I'll miss them all.